Hey, I, uh, I saw your your tweet after you got drafted about your brother, and it was his favorite team. Would you mind sharing uh, some of the the details on on uh, how how the Forty ers became your brother's favorite team, and 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 just what's the the family history there? Um, I'm not sure how he became a Niner fan, but uh, just knowing him, he used to always talk about the Forty ers and then like. For them to draft me, it was just it was just a special moment because you know he left his earth being a Niner fan, and then just me being able to play for the Niners is just a it's just an honor. You know, I, I wanted to ask you another hyena question, but I, I'm wondering whether you've honored your brother with a tattoo or anything like that uh, on you. Oh yeah, I do. I actually have uh, his birthday across my chest, like in Roman numerals, and then uh, I also got a little scripture on on my arm, just dedicated to him. Well, about the hyena, I mean, I've, I've seen people embrace lions. I've seen people embrace wolves. Uh, those types of things. When when did hyena become your thing? And um, just kind of talk me through how that um, that came about. Oh, well, it started in high school. You know, uh, everybody wanted to be a lion. So, you know, I just wanted to be different and just chose a different animal. So I chose a hyena just because they kind of sneaky quick, you know, and I, that's how I picture myself as on the field. Um, when did it kind of dawn on you, you know, you talk about your brother, when did it hit you immediately after you got the phone call from the 49ers of, you know, the, uh, did you think immediately of your brother? Did it take a little while to, to, to let that sink in? And, and could you, could you share if you feel comfortable just, uh, how your brother passed? Oh, uh, well, he was, he was shot, um, at a, a donut a donut stand at, um, in South Central LA, uh, just wrong place, wrong time. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, that was a, a hard one for me because he was like one of my, he was a role model to me, but yeah. So, so what was it like walking into that locker room and just being there for the first time for you? Uh, it was it was a crazy feeling, you know, uh, just being able to be in the NFL locker room and just seeing all just seeing all the players that I was seeing on TV. It was like I kind of was starstruck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was a, it was different. I understand you you've already gotten into the playbook a little bit. What have you found in there? I mean, um, is it is it similar to what you ran? Um, are you um, uh, look, looking forward to uh, playing more nickel with the 49ers? Uh, what about that? Uh, I'm, I'm the type of player that's wherever the coach needs me. So, but it's, the playbook is actually similar to what we ran in Oregon. So it's just like second nature, just different verbiage. Can you explain the significance of wearing number uh, zero last year? Uh, just to be the first person to do it in Oregon history. Uh, and just, you know, being the first to wear number zero in college football, it was, it was, it was special to me, you know, because I can always tell my kids, kids that, uh, that I was the first to wear number zero in Oregon. Okay, so two questions. Do you know what number you'll be wearing with the 49ers? And then um, I've seen your, your name phonetically spelled. Could you just say it? And also, um, how, how often is it just completely screwed up? Uh, so it's Diamador Lenore. That's how you say it. Uh, and it's been screwed up so many times, I can't even count. <laughs> so everybody just go call me by... Uh, I'll just go by demo, but if you're able to get it, then cheers to you.